And it's not just children. Unvaccinated adults are filling up Shelby County hospitals and quickly. The UT Health Science Center is tracking hospitalization rates here and they update their database every few days. Today, one of those days. Our Simone Wolfridge joining us now with the very latest numbers and they are, well, scary. Yeah, Todd, that's right. We have a lot to show you here. So the newest data shows that things are bad and only getting worse. So this graph shows hospitalizations from the start of the pandemic in April of 2020. You can see us down here. So the number of people currently hospitalized with COVID just surpassed 500. You can see that number right here. That number was just fewer than 100 just a month ago. And take a look at this dotted line here. You can see the projection right here. UT uses a computer modeling to project what will happen in the coming days. So you see the projection here, and then you see where we have peaked here. So at this rate, hospitalizations in Shelby County will reach a pandemic high as soon as this weekend, just by looking by this at this. So Baptist Memorial Hospital in East Memphis is caring for more than 100 COVID patients, and all but four of its ICU beds are full. Methodist Hospital in the medical district has one 139 COVID patients. Its ICU is at 96% capacity with only six beds available. St. Francis in Memphis has only one ICU bed available and St. Francis in Bartlett has no beds available. Keep in mind there is a nursing shortage and it won't take much to push hospitals past the breaking point. And as far as that overflow hospital that was set up in the old commercial pill building, you may remember that. Well, it was dismantled recently when it looked like the pandemic was winding down.